You're watching College Football Now. I am Harrison Graham from Chat Sports. We're going to take a look at some transfer portal updates, quarterbacks, the latest rumors, a couple of commitments that we'll get to in just a second. A few visits lined up as well as things are heating up just a few days into the portal being open. Do want to get a couple of commitments out of the way here, some of the newer ones, then we'll rehash on some that happened in the last couple of days. Brock Vandegrift, a five-star quarterback from a couple of years ago, competed with Carson Beck this spring uh, for the starting job at Georgia. Beck ended up winning it and obviously has had a great year for the Bulldogs, and it appears he's going to come back next year for one more season in Georgia. So he opted into the portal, and he is off to Kentucky. Good get for them after uh, they snagged Devin Leary last year in the portal. He is out of eligibility. So Vandegrift in line to take over for the Wildcats. How about Kentucky's rival, Louisville? They land Tyler Shuck from Texas Tech. Uh, seventh year of college football. You got to love the COVID era uh, as these guys are playing year five, six, seven in some cases. As Chuck is uh, off to his third college, started his career at Oregon, played the last few seasons for Texas Tech. And the story for him has kind of been injuries. When he's been healthy, he's been pretty good. Uh, you know, two to one ratio in touchdown interceptions, pretty accurate, good arm talent. So uh, Louisville obviously. Uh, coming off a really good year in the ACC, looking to keep that momentum uh, that they had this season. Tyler Shuck uh, in line to potentially be their starter next year. A couple of other ones won't spend as much time here. Spitzer Petras, who started a lot in 2021 and 2022 for Iowa, kind of just sat this year out, wasn't really in their plans, even after Cade McNamara went down. He's off to Utah State. Max Brosner out of um, New Hampshire, he committed to Minnesota. An interesting player here as he's been really productive at the FCS level, uh, almost 9,000 passing yards, a uh, 3-1 to touchdown interception ratio. He's just mobile enough where he can move a little bit, so I'll be curious to see how he can perform in the Big Ten, obviously against much stiffer competition than he was playing with at the FCS level. So Brosner off to Minnesota. And then, uh, of course, Max Johnson was kind of the first big one. He goes from A&M to North Carolina, potentially as Drake May's replacement there. Now prove it to us. Do you want more transfer portal updates? If so, subscribe, turn on those notifications. Don't miss out. And if we don't get a lot of new subs or uh, traction on this video, then maybe we won't do as much transfer portal stuff and we have to shift our content. So it's up to you guys. You guys seem to like uh, the transfer portal news and rumors. So uh, if so, hit that subscribe button. Okay, uh, let's get through some QB rumors now. Some uh, news too about some of these guys about where they could be heading to. Obviously, Cam Ward is the big name in the portal right now. Uh, we've talked about him the last couple of days. Uh, these seven programs all appear to be in the mix. Could it become a bidding war in the NIL era? I just have this feeling, and I have since Kyle McCord entered the transfer portal, Ohio State's quarterback from this past season, is that they're going to pursue hard. I think Ohio State's going to make a big push for Cameron Ward. He's got elite arm talent. He's mobile. Throw the ball down the field. Throw the ball underneath. Uh, he's put up big numbers at Washington State in each of the past two seasons. Now, obviously, Wazoo to Ohio State certainly a different deal, but – He's got NFL-level talent. I think he can uh, be an upgrade for that offense. So uh, we'll see if they opt to go in that direction. But uh, he is certainly going to have several suitors in the NCAA transfer portal. Where do you guys think he plays next season? Let us know down in the comment section below. I'm going to go Ohio State, but it uh, wouldn't surprise me if uh, uh, he went to a Florida State or a Washington. So uh, get your votes in and predict it for us. Shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring today's show. Prize Picks Daily Fantasy made easy, and it's going to be fun as well throughout bowl season. And obviously, the bowl games don't start for a little while, so you can play Prize Picks with other sports like the NBA, uh, college basketball, NHL, also the NFL, of course. I got a little Thursday night two player entry here. And listen, this could be a snooze fest between the Steelers and Patriots. Mitch Trubisky, Bailey Zappi. Give me the less on both of their passing yards. Two good defenses, two really bad offenses here. Kenny Pickett's out. Mac Jones has been benched. So uh, this is going to be a low-scoring game. Give me the less there on both of those. Ten to win $30 on this entry. If you go up to a six-player entry, you can win up to 25 times your uh, money on any given entry. So get going today, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. 
Use our code at CL at Acid. Get a deposit match up to $100. Prize picks. We appreciate you guys for sh supporting our sponsors. And trust me, you're going to have some fun. Okay, uh, let's go to Dylan Gabriel now as uh, he's been in the portal as well. Sounds like the Oregon Ducks are the front runners here. And, you know, they obviously got Bo Nix a couple of seasons ago. He's been a good portal pickup for Oregon. And, uh, you know, he's off to the NFL after this year. So, Dylan Gabriel could kind of pick up uh, where uh, Nick's left off. Uh, sounds like USC's in the mix as well, but if all things go well at Oregon with that visit, I think that's where Gabriel will end up, and uh, it'll be his sixth and final season in his third school as he started his career at UCF, went to Oklahoma, had a good season this year, and uh, could potentially be off to Oregon next uh, with that dual threat ability, of course. DJ Ui Ungalale, Ui Ungalale, and Cam Ward both released statements saying they're considering the NFL as well. But uh, I do think they're both going to stay in college for another year. Three teams that have been in on DJU, according to reports, Florida State, Louisville, and Mississippi State. Now, I tend to believe that Louisville is going to be out of the mix because they just added Tyler Shuck. Now, you could make an argument DJU's a better player. Uh, he certainly hasn't had the injury history that Shuck has had, but I don't think DJU is going to go somewhere unless he has assurances that he's for sure going to be the starter. Uh, and I got to think if Shuck committed to Louisville, they gave him uh, you know, pretty good word that he's going to be that guy. So I don't think it's going to be Louisville. Florida State is an interesting one with Jordan Travis, uh, obviously uh, out of eligibility. So uh, that could uh, obviously be a good fit for DJU. Mississippi State, maybe Jeff Levy taking over there. Uh, but uh, I think Florida State for DJ is a better fit, but they could be waiting on a guy like Cam Ward to make a decision first. Dante Moore, who is one of the prize recruits in 2023, five-star out of Detroit, went to UCLA. It was down to UCLA and Michigan. And uh, speaking of which, uh, it sounds like Michigan could be where he ends up. There's already a report out there that he and Michigan have had communication, so uh, that could be... Uh, a potential next stop for Dante Moore, who's got a lot of talent. Played some this year for Chip Kelly. Got benched in the middle of the year due to up and down play as a true freshman. And uh, now he's off to the portal. Looks like could be heading close to home playing for Michigan. There was some Michigan State buzz as well, but uh, I think he'll go to a, a more prominent school, at least at this point in time. Feels like Michigan's the answer there. Speaking of the Wolverines, who is going to be the national championship winners this year? The college football playoff is set as Michigan will take on Alabama. Washington will take on Texas. If you think the Wolverines are going to win it, type M-I-C-H. If you think it's going to be the Crimson Tide, type Bama. If you think it's going to be the Huskies, type W-A-S-H. Then if you're going with Texas, hook them, type T-E-X. All right, Riley Leonard, the last quarterback we're going to talk about here. And since he entered the portal, it kind of felt like it was Notre Dame or bust. And, well, he's visiting the Fighting Irish the next two days. So, barring a poor visit and just not things not going well, I expect Riley Leonard to commit to Notre Dame and take over for Sam Hartman. Hartman had good success there this year uh, as a grad transfer. Leonard uh, could do the same thing as well. There was some thought buzz that, oh, could he follow Mike Elko? to Texas A&M, but it doesn't sound like that's happening. So I think he's going to end up at Notre Dame. He's visiting there again today and tomorrow. So uh, we will see how that plays out. There you have it. More transfer portal news, rumors, updates that we're keeping you informed on. And as more major news drops, we, of course, will be your home for that here on College Football Now by Chat Sports. So hit that subscribe button and do not miss out for further videos.